Okay, so let's talk about the new Super Mario movie. So, <laughs> this is such a cash grab. This is such a freaking cash grab, man. I didn't know this movie was even out. I haven't even been checking what movies have been coming out because it's all the same. It's either some old 90s pop culture movie or remake, or it's just some garbage action movie, horror movie. I don't know. But this movie has gotten terrible reviews from the tomato meter. And, you know, the 90% of, of the audience, the dumb idiots that actually went to see this movie, they're saying it's good. They're actually saying this movie <clears throat> made for children is good. They're actually saying this movie made for children is good. You have grown men, grown adults, people in their 20s, 30s, and sometimes even 40s and 50s going to see this movie. No, they don't have children. No, 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 they don't have um, nieces and nephews. But they're going to see this movie with their 30, 40, 50 year old friends. Oh man, you gonna see that new Mario movie, man? Oh man, oh, oh, oh. Like, no. No. You should not, if you're over 15, you should not be going to see this movie. Because, first of all, the trailer tells you everything there is to know about the movie. So let's go through this trailer and see what is wrong with this godforsaken movie. Let's see. So first of all, 90% of the dialogue in this movie is going to be re rehashed language from the original source material. So he's going to say, let's -a go, it's a Mario, let's -a go. He's going to keep saying that over and over and over again throughout the entire movie. He's just going to say the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Oh man, this is such a good movie. You just said, let's, let's -a go. Wow, I heard that before. Nostalgia baits. People are addicted to nostalgia. They long for their childhood. They long for their youth. So they go into the movie theater as grown 40 year old men to see gl glimpses of their childhood. Um, does anybody with a neutral aspect of life actually think this is a good movie? Does anybody who hasn't seen the Mario movies, are they going to think this is a good movie? No, no, it's not a good movie. It's not a good movie. I'm sorry to say this, the the, 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 the Mario um, fanboys who actually gave this a positive review, it's not a good movie. It's not at all a good movie and you're just lured by terrible, terrible nostalgia. So let's continue. That's supposed to be funny. This is supposed to be funny for kids, not adults, not adults. This is not supposed to be funny. I, I like, 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 would you have to be crazy to actually laugh at a scene like this? Imagine somebody in the theater actually laughing at this. Do you know how low IQ you'd have to be to actually laugh at this? Look at this. <laughs> no, that's not funny. That's that's not funny at all. The Despicable Me movies are terrible. It's made by the same people who wrote the God for Forsaken Despicable Me movies, which aren't good, by the way. Um, especially the sequels. They 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 got a little taste of the money with the first Despicable Me. And then they just went crazy. They made a Minion movie. They made Despicable Me 2, 3. I don't know if they made a fourth one. But they made a Minions movie. And it, it's just disgraceful. This company is going to do the, the, the bare minimum 
in order to make a passable movie. So just as bad as you and cheap as you could possibly make it without while still making money. So this is this is their goal, Illumination. More like Illuminati. Not sure if you know who I am, but I'm about to rule the world. Wow, uh, yay. But there's one problem. There's a human has a mustache just like you. <laughs> Do you think I know every human? And why do they dumb down the Mario and Luigi characters? All this movie did was really ruin Mario for everybody. Um, they dumbed down Mario. They dumbed down Luigi. They dumbed down Princess Peach. They dumbed down all the side characters for their stupid movie. For their stupid, idiotic children's film. And yeah, see, they dumb him down. They dumb down Mario. He's supposed to be this heroic guy, this heroic guy that stops Bowser. He 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 jumps over things. He squashes people. He he explores the whole world. And they make him an idiot. They make him a stupid fool. They have to make every male character in movies a fool. To suit their agenda, they have, they can't have a, a strong male character. They can't do that anymore. That might ex inspire other males or younger males to be a strong male character. So the, of course they have to dumb it down, feed us this slop, um, say, oh he's stupid, but he still wins the day. He still he still wins the day. No. Idiots like this, they don't win anything. He should not, and I know at the end of the movie, he's probably going to win. I haven't seen the movie, but yeah, they're gonna make it a, a fairy tale ending where the dumb, stupid, idiot guy who can't even jump over objects, which is his primary purpose of creation. When they made Mario, he's supposed to be a guy that jumps over objects and he's supposed to be a plumber. Now, who knows an idiotic plumber? Plumbers are freaking smart, but they just dumb them down into this childish, um, stupid guy that has no real skills. And <laughs> it's just so terrible. Kids are watching this. Kids are actually watching this trash heap. And I don't even think kids would like this movie, honestly. I think it would just be the dumb 40 year old um, men who played Mario as a kid and they're coming back to it 30 years later to watch this pay money just give your money give, give your money to this movie give your money to this stupid company that just can't help itself by making these sequels prequels um spin-offs it's just ridiculous it's just ridiculous again is that funny is that funny is that funny just the bare minimum the bare minimum humor bare minimum like i couldn't like the people who actually went to see this movie what is wrong with you what is wrong with you why would you go see this movie you know what it's going to be you know what the jokes are going to be you just want to see it because it's Mario. Mario. More like you're a joke. <laughs> There's a huge universe out there. Cliche. 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 Oh my god, could you imagine sitting through this? Could you, there's no better movie you could watch. 
There's no better movie you could watch, really. You chose this movie, and you're sitting through it, and they just say the biggest cliches, the most stupid jokes. And the people who gave this 96% on Rotten Tomatoes, there's, there's something mentally wrong with you. This is probably the first time the critics got it right before the audience. This is probably the first time that's ever happened in Rotten Tomato history. Nostalgia bait movies, they usually have a higher audience score than a critic score. Because critics, they don't care about um, nostalgia bait. They don't care about um, name brand. But audience, they're going to be blinded by that stuff. And it's sad. It's sad that movies in 2023, where you have access to unbelievable technology, you can render hyper-realistic, lifelike um, scenery, and they chose to make a stupid Mario movie. They chose to make the, the, the stupid Mario movie with the stupid script and the stupid dumbed-down characters. They would have been better off just not making a movie, just make games. That's what you're good at. You're good at making games, not movies. Who who wants to watch their favorite game get ruined by a bad movie? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. There's a lot of galaxies. They're all counting on us. Cliche, cliche, just cliche after cliche after cliche, non-stop cliches. It's, it's, it's like your generic kids movie. Oh, there's a big world out there. Oh man, we gotta stop the bad guys. Wow. Well, who wrote this? Who wrote this? If you know the people who played Mario in the past are grown up now, why would you make a movie for kids? Kids don't play Mario anymore. They play mobile games. They, they, they're they on TikTok. They don't play video games anymore. I'm sorry to tell you this. Kids don't play video games, especially Mario. They'd rather play Call of Duty over or GTA 6 over Mario. Mario is for boomers. It's for boomers. Nobody wants to play Mario anymore. And watch some guy jump over a bunch of tubes and, and squash mushrooms. Who wants to do that? This, 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 this franchise has long overstayed its welcome. And this movie probably killed Mario. This movie probably killed the Mario franchise. You, you can't come back from this. You can't come back. Nobody's going to take this franchise seriously now. And it will just kill it. It will just kill it and it will fade away. Which is good. Because we need new and better games to replace Mario. We shouldn't keep propping up this bad game and this bad franchise just because it was good back then. Oh, it was good back then, so let's prop it up now. Oh, we haven't had really any new story or new new real plot developments, no, and the games really remain the same for the exact, for like 40, 30 years. But let's keep propping up. Let's keep telling it. It's telling us it's the greatest game ever. You know, when you look at the old Mario from like 19, what was it, 1989 or 1990s, the old Mario from the 90s or the 80s, the, 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 the thing hasn't changed. The levels haven't changed. There's no new designs. There's nothing. Nothing. It's just you jump over stuff. You, you squash mushrooms. You go save the princess. Same form. Same exact formula. Once you played one Mario game, you've played them all. Anything after that is just greed. There shouldn't have been a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth Mario game. At this point, it's just greed. And now they have to top it off with a bad cash grab movie.
look, it's just, it's just, hey, you remember Super Mario Kart? You remember Super Mario Kart? This is such a good movie. Wow, Super Mario Kart. Oh, oh my God. No. Showing things that you've already seen before does not make your movie good. Especially if the people who originally seen it are 40 years old. Heck, they might even be 50 years old. That game's so old, man. Oh my god, man. This is, this is just blatant. This is the equivalent of, of product placement. This is probably more cringe than product placement. Disgusting. This movie's disgusting. This, oh, they just killed their own franchise. Obviously. Everybody's saying it's terrible. Everybody with a brain is saying the, the, the movie is terrible. It has 96. Who are the idiots out there in this world that can actually breathe that actually thought this movie was good? Who? Who thought this movie was good? That's scary. There are people in this world that actually are stupid enough to think a movie like this is good. Jesus, man. The world, the, please, please an asteroid, please come down on this planet and wipe humanity out. Please let there be an asteroid tomorrow so I don't have to live in the world with these idiots. Oh my god. <laughs> There's actually people out there that are stupid enough to like this movie. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video now. So, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe.